Hey guys, uh, welcome to One Simple Play. It's a series of offensive ideas for coaches working with young tackle football teams. Um, just uh, going in, just wanted to let you know that this isn't a system. These plays aren't necessarily sophisticated or complicated, uh, but uh, given the size, strength, speed, arm strength of uh, kids ages 8 through 11, uh, who I've been working with for a while now, I think these are some pretty good basic plays that you can run. And if you're just getting started and uh, don't know where else to go, um, here are some ideas for you. So uh, just uh, before we get started, a shout out to Coach Thomas McPherson, Coach Mac, uh, who's uh, standing in front of a whiteboard drawing up plays uh, format is where I borrowed uh, where I borrowed this from. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to him on YouTube already, uh, you should really do so. Uh, Coach Thomas McPherson, uh, if you're a football junkie, there's lots for you to take in there. Okay, so uh, before we drop today's play, uh, just a reminder that uh, the defense that we will be drawing this up against is a 5-3 with the nose tackle head up on the center, defensive tackles head up on the offensive tackles. Uh, that's the rules of our league. Uh, usually the defensive ends line up to the outside of the tight end and the split end, uh, who we've got lined up tight here, and the linebackers are behind him. Uh, we typically see a 5-3. Uh, we might see a 5-4 if the safety walks down, but he's got to be outside of the tackles. Okay, but so. Uh, we might see that, but we're going to draw this up against a 5-3. All right, so today's play that we're going to draw up is a 32 dive, right? A simple, simple play, as uh, the name of the series implies. Uh, when do you run a 32 dive? Uh, short yardage situations, uh, maybe second and six, something like that. Uh, it should be a quick hitter uh, that uh, probes the middle. Um, and uh, you should be able to run this for some solid yardage. Uh, and, and if the other team doesn't defend it right, you can break it for some big plays too. Uh, you'll see a couple of those in the videos that we have after I draw this up. Okay, so again, the key the key to the 32 dive is is quickness. Okay, and uh, it starts with the snap. And I can't emphasize enough how much you need to rep that quarterback center exchange as a youth football team. Uh, it shouldn't just be during team periods. It shouldn't just be pre-practice. It should be pre-practice. It should be indies. It should be uh, team periods. It should be any time that you have a chance that uh, those kids aren't working on something else. I've seen way too many teams that just struggle to even execute a, a snap and obviously you can't do anything else. Uh, even if you can get it but it's slow, that's going to ruin your play execution. Um, rep that center quarterback exchange as much as you can, whether it be under center or whether it be shotgun. All right, so uh, I'm, I'm not going to draw up too many of the responsibilities here. They should be all pretty straightforward, okay? Split end line up tight, tight end, and the Y, they're all blocking their guys out, okay? Left tackle, first step with his right foot. Right tackle, first step with his left foot, all right? Again, we're trying to drive those defensive tackles out. Their guys should not factor into this play at all, um, but uh, let's let's take care of those details anyway. All right, center blocking, hopefully taking a step to the right. Okay, we've talked about this before um, that the the center, if he can execute that snap uh, quickly and effectively, cleanly, and not get run over, he's doing his job. Okay, so if he can actually make that step and engage this nose tackle and push him out of the hole, man, that's great. But uh, we're not counting on it. We just want him to get the snap. So what does that mean? More often than not, we are going to triple team the nose tackle on this right? with our left guard and our right guard. It's a simple block that we ask our guards to make, and it's something that most of those kids can execute. Okay? It keeps this guy out of the play and gives the fullback a, a, a running lane. Now, if you have a center who can get to the right and block the nose tackle away from the hole, that's great. Then you can have the right guard go come up and block the mic. All right, uh, it's up to you whether or not your kids can do that and get there. Um, obviously, the mic is is typically uh, one of the other team's best players. Um, you know, we've talked before that the defensive ends are more often than not uh, the best athletes on the defense, uh, just to limit big plays around the outside. But uh, if they're not there, they're probably here. Um, and some teams will put all their best players at linebacker too. So. You'll have to judge that for yourself. So, here again, pretty simple action here. The quarterback takes a hand, takes the snap, late, <coughs> excuse me, pivots, holds the ball out for the fullback. It should be bam, bam, all right? It should be bam, bam like that. It's got to happen instantaneously. If this play develops slowly at all, it's not going to work. Okay, that's again why that snap is so important and why your fullback, fullback has to explode out of his stance and get, it, get that handoff right away, okay? 
if these linebackers are coming up to fill their holes well, or fill their gaps well, okay, this, this could be maybe a two-yard game, uh, maybe a three-yard game. If they don't, uh, your fullback should have enough ahead uh, of his steam to make it a four or five-yard game. If the linebackers aren't coached very well and they, they take steps backwards, they take negative steps on this, it could go for a touchdown. Right? It all depends, but we'll take three yards on this play. Okay, again, bam, bam. Now, what does the quarterback do afterwards? What does the halfback do after their words? Halfback's going to run this way, all right? Quarterback's going to run this way after executing the handoff. Okay, why is that? Um, they're faking an option. Uh, they're faking a, an option right. Um, we have at times actually run an option off of a 32 die fake to that. Okay, so that's a, a good counter if the teams start loading up on this. By running this action, maybe you freeze this off this outside linebacker, maybe you put some indecision in this safety's head. Um, but that's that's just kind of window dressing. I mean this this exchange and the quickness of it is the most important thing of this by far. Okay? But again, faking the faking the option right with the quarterback and the halfback after that handoff is is a good secondary action, uh, not just for the play itself, uh, but to set up a counter play to this. So uh, let's let's watch. Uh, we've got a couple of videos of 32 dives, and I believe there's a 33 dive in there as well. Okay, now that you've seen those videos, uh, again, the thought process behind 32 or 33 dive is that a lot, I see a lot of coaches, a lot of the youth football teams get really preoccupied with running pitches and sweeps and things like that, and trying to get to the outside, and, and that's understandable. Um, that's where most big plays happen, but you've got to be disciplined and run some plays between the tackles as well, uh, and, and in, in the name of, of getting a lot of different guys' touches, too, 32 dive is a really simple way to get to your fullback involved pick up some positive yardage three or four yards at a time. Again, can't emphasize enough the importance of the quarterback center exchange on that and, and making sure that that's airtight. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'll leave it in the comments below or email me at scott underscore tappa at hotmail.com. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. Um, there's a lot of good youth football practice and coaching ideas. There's some clinic reports uh, with from expert football coaches around the state of Wisconsin and around the country. We've got game film. We've got a lot of different things on there. So uh, subscribe, and, and if you're just starting out, or, or even if you've been at this for a long time, hopefully you can pick up something that uh, you can use with your team. Thanks for watching.